This is the sixth video of the Bloxy series and we're going to check out the footer. Hi, my name is Stratos and I create video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you haven't already seen the three previous videos for the header element, I would suggest go and check those out because for the footer element I'm going to create one video, I'm going to stack everything inside, I'm not going to go as deep because we have already seen the elements that we can add inside, we have seen most of the options so I'm not going to repeat myself. Let's go into the footer, let's see that we have first three rows, it's similar to the header but you can see that I have columns differently. Let's scroll down and here we're going to see that we have the copyright right here. This is the only row that it's already visible because all the other rows don't have any elements inside so it means that they are not visible. The background comes for of course from the border row settings and this is the copyright element so let's click it. Here is the copyright text so we have the copyright, we have the current year, this is dynamically and it will be replaced with the actual number of the year. Let's delete that and leave just the current year. This is how I usually put that and then I go into the design and change a little bit the text so they have the horizontal alignment here, we have the left, middle and right and since we have just one column it will go across the whole row. After that we have the vertical alignment, top, bottom and the middle and here we have also the element visibility and we can disable if we want to disable that in the tablet or mobile view. Let's keep it into the left and keep it into the middle and let's go into the design here I'm going to just change a little bit the text and put it as 12 and then probably I would go for the font color and put it a little bit of black if you want to do that. You have of course the links uh, if you want to change the color if you have links inside your copyright text and that's all with the copyright element. Let's click the bottom row and let's see the settings. Here first we have the columns. If you check any other columns you will see that we also have columns layout that you can change. Here is 50-50, here this one is probably 66 to 33, this is 33 to 66, this is uh, probably 80 to 20 and this is 20 to 80. So let's put that in the middle. After that we have the column spacing and how many pixels you want to have it in between, of course you can change that for the other views. Widget spacing, 40 pixels, once we add widgets inside here then we can change that, these are not widgets, these are elements, we have widgets that we can add. Then we have the row vertical uh, spacing and this is the space that we have between the copyright text and the whole row, we're going to put here something like 10 and this is how I usually do that, 10 and then we have the vertical alignment, this is for the elements that you're going to put inside. After that we have the container width to be default or full width so it will stretch to the whole website, let's leave it as default and for the row visibility again you can uh, change that to what you want. Then let's go into the design, we have the row background that we can change, uh, for me, I, if I'm going to create the middle row to be black or dark color then I would leave that as an off-white or vice versa if I'm going to do something different just to separate the copyright for the, from the other footer. Let's see what we have, we have the row top divider that we have already seen uh, what it is so you can put here a divider and put it like this, let's put none here. Again we have the default and full width, let's change that to none. We have the row bottom divider and we have the columns divider if you want to put a divider between the columns. Ok, enough with that, let's go back. Uh, the same settings apply to the middle row and to the top row and it depends on how many columns you select here and you will see different layouts here, the other settings are pretty much the same. So let's jump back and let's see the elements that we have. We have a button, the same is to the header. We have the contacts and if I add it here you will see that it's almost the same but as you can see it will be rearranged differently because we also have the vertical and horizontal alignment here so you can change here vertical or horizontal. Most of those elements have that option in order to change the direction for the item. 
and everything else is the same. Now, something that I should tell here is that you cannot put two elements uh, side by side or one on top of the other. You have to go to different columns. I would like to do that to be able to do one next to the other without separating the columns or one on top of the other without separating the rows, but sadly I cannot. I can add widgets here in order to add more elements inside one row because there are cases that my client needs a little bit of bigger footer in order to add more uh, items inside there. Let's go back and we're going to skip the uh, content block. We're going to see it later on. Here we have also the footer menu. I'm going to add it here and I'm going to uh, select something like that. We have again the horizontal and vertical. Let's go for vertical. We have the item spacing. We have the horizontal alignment, left, middle or right. Let's go then with the element of visibility. We know already what it does and for the design everything is also known if you have already seen the header video. Then we have the footer menu 2 and of course you can add that and change what you want to change. HTML it's exactly the same. If we add it we will see that we have the HTML text and we have the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment that we have already seen. Let's go back into here. We have the logo that you can add inside here and the logo, uh, it immediately grabs the logo that we have already set and it grabs the site title of course and every other uh, things that we have already changed. Easy to understand what it does and everything inside here again. Search box that you can put into the footer with the same settings of course that you can already change and probably you know how to do that. And then we have the widgets. We're going to leave it for the uh, last elements of the video. Then we have the socials. Let's put the social here. And for the socials, as you can see, they are here. I'm going to click it. I'm going to put those into the far right and into the middle. And then you can have the item horizontal to be vertical if you want. I don't like that. Rounded, square, official or custom colors. Everything else is exactly as we know it from the header. Let's go back and here we only have the widgets that are remaining. So I'm going to remove everything he from here. And I'm going to put here widget 1, widget 2 and widget 3. Here I'm going to set and hit publish. And as you can see now I have the widgets inside. Of course the widgets are empty so I don't see anything. But if I click the widget then you can start building the widgets here. If you don't like it how it's going to appear from here and here we have also the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment which is useful. You can go outside, go from your widgets area into the appearance widgets and here you can just go and start building your footer from here. Of course, since we're building here, we cannot see it exactly how it's going to be, but we're going to refresh the page in order to see it in the home page. So let's click the plus icon, then I can go and put the container. I'm using Spectra again for uh, this video. Let's click the plus icon, then I can add here the heading. Let's go for browse and add the heading inside. I could put, if I want, a separator. So let's put a separate, solid separator. And then underneath that, I'm going to put just a simple text. So let's go here and add the paragraph. And I'm going probably to type something into the paragraph. Okay, I'm going to put that all inside the same container. I'm going to update that. Let's change that heading into a heading 4 and probably I'm going to change that to be left aligned. Okay, let's update that and let's go back here into the website, refresh the page and go here and as you can see now I have that uh, content inside here. Okay, I'm going to add lorem ipsum into the widget and I'm going to duplicate that for the footer widget area 2 and footer uh, widget area 3. I just paste the text. Maybe it's too much. I think it's too much. So maybe I'm going to just hit a little bit of space inside here to add a paragraph and I'm going to remove that text. And now for the whole container I'm going to duplicate that. I 
again duplicate and I'm going to grab it to footer widget area 2 and footer area 3. So as you understand from the widget you can build uh, exactly what you want to do and if you go now into the website refresh you will see that we have the widgets inside here. Let's go back to the customizer. I'm going to refresh the page and probably I'm going to stay publish first. Refresh the page now to see the text that I have added. Okay, so now that I have the elements inside here, I can go into the middle row and now I can set the column spacing to be probably 40 or 30. You saw that the spacing was less now. And then I can go for widget spacing. This is the widget that I have and put something like 30. You have to leave it a little bit in order to refresh. And then for the row vertical spacing, again, this is the spacing that we have on top and on the bottom. So I can go with something like 50. Okay, after that, as you can see, we can uh, add other widgets inside here as well. So we can go back and we can add widget 4, 5 and 6 if we want also on top and on the bottom. And this is how you can uh, fix that you cannot add elements one on top of the other. You add widgets and you start building your widgets inside your website. Now that we have the content inside here, we can click the tablet view to see how it looks for the tablet view. And as you can see, those columns were collapsed into uh, one column and we have a single column for the row. So we can click that and now you can see that the columns layout is stacked. But if you want, you can have two columns and it will look like that. And then the third column is here. It doesn't look too good once you have three columns. It would be better if you had four columns for the whole layout, but this is how it looks. We cannot do anything for that. After that, we have the column spacing, widget spacing, row spacing. All of those are uh, the same that we have before. Row visibility, again, the same settings that we get before. And of course, we have the mobile view. Probably if you add social icons or you add logos or anything else, you have to rearrange and put those into the middle so it will not be left aligned once you are in the tablet and the mobile phone. Let's go back into the desktop view and let's go back into the footer. So here we have the elements and guess what? We have footers. So here, once I click it, I will see the global footer. It means that I have different settings for the footer and also I can create a new footer that I can apply to different pages. Now this uh, is not for you to add probably form that it will go under the services page in every page that you add. I would do that by adding content blocks inside my Bloxy, but this is for another video. Let's see what we have for the global footer. Let's click it. And once we are here, we, are the, we have the container structure, which is default, boxed and full width. This is for the whole footer. And if we switch to full width, all the rows and all the elements inside were going for full width. We have the box and we have the default. Enable reveal effect on, and this will be revealed if you want with an effect when you start scrolling. So if I enable that, as you can see, it will stay fixed. And once I scroll down, it will reveal my footer. If you want, you can add that into the other views as well. And if you select it, you can select the shadow that you want for that. Let's disable that. And we have also the container background. And this means that it will grab the settings from here unless you have set a, a different color for the rows separately. So if you haven't set anything and you have left it as the default, then it could grab the settings from here, from the container background. So if I add here something like blue, and as you can see, this will not take that color because it has a white probably. But if I go into the design and remove the row background, it will go and take that color. So let's go and probably I will put that into the whole footer. Let's delete that. After that, we have the container padding and you can put top, right, bottom and left padding for the whole container. If you want to duplicate the footer, you can click create new footer and you can just put here the footer name so this is the home footer and the home footer can have different settings different reveal effect different colors because it 
will go along with your uh, home page. So copy elements from the global footer, create the new footer, and then do not forget that in order to see that you have to go into the home footer, click it, go inside and then add your conditions because you'll not be able to see it if you are not inside the customizer. Click add the add condition, add display condition. If you want just the home page, you have to go select the uh, page ID and then select the home page from here. After that, click save settings and you will have it into the home page. And of course, since we have two different footers, we have to change two times if you want to make a change and do it across the whole website. If you just want to make a change into the one footer, then you can go and select the footer that you want. And that was all with the video of the footer. If you haven't seen the header elements again, please go and see the headers before visiting the footer because I'm not going to talk all over everything again. You can see that video and then everything will come along with the footer video. Thanks for watching guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.